Good afternoon, and welcome to the launch of our five-year strategic vision for ABC Microbiome Ireland, a world-leading SFI research centre. I would like to start by especially thanking the Taoiseach, Michal Martin, the Minister for Further and Higher Education, Research and Innovation and Science, Simon Harris, and all the distinguished speakers who will contribute to today's event. Firstly, I would, would like just to say something about the microbiome. That is the trillions of microbes, including bacteria and viruses, that live within or on humans, animals and plants. In the last two decades, we've come to realize the impact that these communities of bacteria have on our health and how they are influenced by diet, medication, lifestyle and age. Therein, the microbiome can be viewed as a malleable trait which can positively be manipulated to improve human health. Our new strategic vision builds on 18 years of pioneering research in microbiome science that has had a broad impact, not only scientifically, but also in educational, economic and industrial terms. In this new strategy, we set the stage for a new chapter where APC will further build microbiome research with our partners to positively impact human and planetary health. Our vision for APC is built around four strategic areas. The first of these is centered on our people and culture. Many of our scientists are global knowledge leaders in microbiome science as it relates to areas like infection, infant nutrition, successful aging, and indeed brain gut. APC will continue to build our talent by actively recruiting scientific stars in key strategic areas where microbiome science can positively impact society. A recent example is Professor Sabrata Gosh who is the new chair and head of medicine at UCC and an APC principal investigator. Professor Gosh is a clinical gastroenterologist and global leader in, inflammation, in inflammatory bowel disease. Another example is Professor Ruth Massey, an expert in infection, who was attracted to APC by a government drive to recruit female professors of extraordinary talent. As a celebration of APC people, this launch event will be followed by APC Staff Awards, and I welcome you all to attend that. Another key part of our vision centres on scientific excellence, where we plan to enhance the global reputation of the centre as a leader in microbiome science. Microbiome science is recognised as being transformative to many traditional scientific disciplines, including microbiology, nutrition, and even human medicine and animal health. Our solution-driven approach within APC to scientific discovery will see us continue to develop new innovative products to tackle some of the major challenges facing mankind, such as infection, chronic disease, and climate change. These include ther ther therapeutics, such as antimicrobials, specialized functional and medical foods, and live biotherapeutics, which improve human or animal health through the microbiome. COVID-19 has taught us about how vulnerable society is to infection, but even greater threats are looming, such as the problem of antibiotic resistance. APC Microbiome Ireland will respond to this stress by developing a new wave of targeted antimicrobials, which have been bioprospected from microbiome sources. In partnership and stakeholder sections of the plans, APC will set out our ambitions to grow as a focal point for microbiome research and collaboration on the island of Ireland. We will expand our reach through the development of key international collaborations with world-leading microbiome centres to further build a critical mass in key areas of strategic importance to this country. We are a leading centre for impactful translation of microbiome science in terms of intellectual property, industrial licensing, and the attraction of foreign direct investment. Moreover, APC will continue to be a hive of activity when it comes to the development of high potential spin-out companies, 
having successfully launched five new thriving startups with plenty more in the pipeline. This culture of partnership and entrepreneurship will be greatly enhanced through the development of a new APC Innovation Centre outlined in this strategy. This is a new building dedicated to translating our science at the interface of food and medicine, embracing new areas such as precision medicine and nutrition. Microbiome science is one of the hottest areas in biological science right now. And this new strategic vision will ensure that APC is perfectly positioned to have the greatest impact in terms of health, environment, and economic prosperity for Ireland. Thank you. I'm delighted to have the opportunity to congratulate APC Microbiome Ireland SFI Research Centre today on the publication of your new strategic vision. New ideas and innovations transform our society and economy. It is my firm and long-standing conviction that higher education and research are absolutely fundamental foundations for developing and sustaining social, economic, cultural and environmental progress. It is one of the reasons why the policy of this government is to mark a new era for this sector. The first key step in this has been to implement the most significant ever change in how public policy and oversight of this vital area is undertaken. The Department of Further and Higher Education Research, Innovation and Science represents a radical change of the status of this area within government. Government investment in the 16 SFI research centres is another key element in positioning Ireland as a global knowledge leader. SFI research centres have been at the core of transformational change in how we support research across our higher education institutions with a drive to undertake excellent research with economic and societal impact. APC Microbiome Ireland is, of course, one of these world-leading SFI research centres, led by researchers at UCC in partnership with TAGUSC and other higher education institutions. Since it was founded in 2003, APC, as I have known, has played a critical role in the development of Ireland's knowledge economy and job creation in the food, agriculture, biotechnology, diagnostics, veterinary and pharmaceutical sectors. Scientific discoveries in this area have contributed to progress on a host of global health challenges, such as antimicrobial resistance, infectious diseases, obesity, mental health, successful ageing, and inflammatory diseases. APC now helps to generate 1.2 million for the Irish economy each week. By working closely with industry over the last five years, APC has undertaken more than 35 collaborative projects and secured over 20 million euro in R&D funding from industry for collaborative research. APC has, like other SFI research centers, a global outlook and reach. Your output has truly been prolific. You have authored more than 3,700 scientific publications. 44% have been from international collaborations with co-authors based in over 90 countries. 25% of APC publications are among the top 10% most frequently cited papers globally. That is indisputable evidence of excellent science in action. APC has been highly successful since it was founded your new strategic vision to 2026 is equally ambitious and is built on four distinct pillars. People and culture, scientific excellence, partnership, stakeholder engagement. I know that under the leadership of Paul Ross, APC Microbiome Ireland has become the nucleus for the world's leading researchers, clinicians and industry who have come together to develop microbiome-based solutions to tackle societal challenges and support economic growth. I am genuinely grateful for the invitation to participate today and the opportunity once again to express my pride in and appreciation for your work. Congratulations, Paul, uh, Sally, and all the team at APC, and the very best of luck in implementing your ambitious strategic plan over the coming years. As you said both today and last Friday when you announced the roadmap for reopening society, science and innovation are key to Ireland's economic, environmental and social health. 
and APC is delighted to play its part in ensuring Ireland's reputation as a global research leader in microbiome science. Next, we will hear from the Minister for Further and Higher Education, Research, Innovation and Science, Mr Simon Harris. Hello there. As Ireland's First Minister for Further and Higher Education, Research, Innovation and Science, I'm delighted to be able to contribute to your event today to celebrate the publication of the new strategic vision for APC Microbiome Ireland SFI's Research Centre. I'm pleased to be contributing to this event alongside Antishok Michal Martin, whom, when this government was formed last year, recognised the need for increased focus and investment in research in Ireland. This past year, we have responded to the biggest challenge we have faced in a generation, if not longer. We've seen firsthand the importance of science and innovation in our response to COVID-19. What the crisis has shown us is the need to have talent and skills to provide solutions to the challenges that we face. A core ambition for the Irish government has been to build competitive advantage and to foster enterprise development through a world-class research and innovation system. The formation of my department takes this goal to a new level, and I want my department to be a strategic enabler of the opportunities we have and to see us become an innovation island. APC Microbiome Ireland, as one of the 16 SFI research centres, has since its foundation in 2003 been delivering excellent world-leading research, engaging with enterprise, driving innovation, and most importantly, training the next generation of researchers. APC has shown that with talent and investment, we here in Ireland can undertake cutting-edge impactful research, competing with the very best internationally and equally contributing solutions to address society's needs. The APC new strategic vision to 2026 builds on this success and is very much aligned with government's plans and ambitions. It focuses on people and culture, scientific excellence, partnership and stakeholder engagement. These words and works fit perfectly with the work of my own department's uh, new statement of strategy, which sets out our strategic objectives. Talent, to develop the talent and skill in our nation. Innovation, to promote research, knowledge and innovation. Inclusion, to support learning for all and leave no one behind. International, to succeed on the world stage. Governance, providing good governance to enhance quality. And finally, capacity, delivering a department that is fit for purpose to drive this agenda. We all understand now more than ever the importance and the value of research and innovation in our lives. And I particularly welcome the important education and public engagement role that APC and that all our SFI research centres undertake. Earlier this week, I hosted the first meeting of the Advisory Forum for Creating Our Future, a new initiative for my department that will drive a citizen consultation process to shape a better Ireland through research and innovation. I want us to have that national conversation, during which people from all strands of life will contribute their ideas and what challenges they would like research to tackle to create a better future for all. The national conversation will kick off in July, and I encourage you all to get involved and contribute to this discussion. I want to congratulate and wish everybody at APC Microbiome Ireland success in implementing your new strategic plan. Thank you to your host and partner institutions, UCC and Chagas, and to many others, together with your industry collaborators, for all you do to create the success of the centre. I'm sure you will continue with this success and you'll continue to lead on the international stage. And I really look forward to visiting you in person, meeting you in person and discussing the next exciting stage of your journey. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Gohordigus. Thank you, Minister Harris, for taking time from your busy schedule to help us launch our strategy today. Next, Professor O'Halloran, the interim president of UCC, will say a few words. Thank you, Professor Ross, and indeed, thank you to all my colleagues here at University College Cork, and in particular to Dr Pamela Byrne, who chairs the APC Governance Committee. Thank you, Tishuk and Minister, for being with us today for the launch of the APC strategy. It's a huge privilege for me to be part of this amazing launch of the APC's strategy. The APC Microbiome Ireland is internationally renowned centre which makes a real and tangible difference to the health of individuals, not just here, but worldwide. APC has positioned Ireland as a global centre of excellence for research in the microbiome, one of the few areas that Ireland is truly a global leader. And I congratulate you for that, and I thank you for all the great work that you do. You make us incredibly proud here at University College Cork that such amazing work takes place on this campus. UCC takes pride in high-performing research and particularly internationally competitive research-led activities here at UCC. You will be aware, I hope, that University College Cork was recently ranked 8th in the world by the Times Higher Education Impact Ranking, due in no small part to the work at APC. The impact of this work at APC, in particular the research impact, has contributed to that success at UCC. And I thank you and I congratulate you for that. 
APC microbiome plays a significant role because in many ways, like the rest of UCC, we try to align our activities, both our curriculum and our research, with the UN Sustainable Development Goals. And hence, this work is really important and impactful. Of course, research is about ideas and people. APC has an incredible team of researchers and clinicians, and that's what makes it special. That group of researchers in the laboratory together with clinicians working with patients. And through this exciting research, it attracts incredible great minds and ideas, and then ultimately increases the reputation of UCC. So it'll come as no surprise that 13 of the 19 principal investigators are included in the highly cited research list of 2020. Independent thinking and shared ambition is the cornerstone of what we say at UCC, and the work of APC embodies all of this, visible through its breakthrough research taking place at the centre, and indeed with its relationships with Chagask, the healthcare sector, and that's which is cultivated across the world with collaborators and partners. From the outset, APC Microbiome Ireland scientific discoveries have contributed to global health challenges, and the current pandemic, in this case, has actually added more momentum and opportunities for the researchers at APC. APC has four SFI-funded COVID-19 research projects currently underway to predict the risk of developing severe COVID symptoms based on the gut microbiome composition. Isn't that remarkable? Um, that you, the gut microbiome composition will actually help us predict the risk. Maybe very familiar to you as the APC researchers, but actually to us in a wider community, this is a really exciting and a real opportunity for discovery-led research. You know, modern day research centers have a mandate to demonstrate both their scientific and economic impact. And I'm really proud that APC has had a remarkable performance in this area, reporting over almost six euro to the Irish economy for every one euro of state investment. So just to repeat, for one euro of state investment, we get close to nearly six euros of a return. This figure reinforces the strong business case, not a mind, the discovery and scientific basis for this amazing investment in APC research and shines a positive light on government policy of investing in national research centres of excellence of the scale that we have here at UCC and in particular at the APC microbiome. APC microbiome is one of Ireland's great success stories, one of the longest running research centres and University College Cork is proud to be part of its vision for the future, and in particular for microbiome research. It's really exciting. I congratulate you. I wish you well and every success with this new strategic plan. Thank you. Thank you, John. As you actually point out, research is about ideas and people. So it's my great pleasure to welcome the director of Chalgask, Professor Jerry Boyle, because Chalgask is the other main research partner in the APC and many of our excellent research team are based there. Taoiseach, Minister Harris, Professor Ferguson, Dr Byrne, Professor Ross, and distinguished guests. On behalf of Chagask, I'm delighted to mark the launch of APC Microbiome Ireland's strategic vision for 2021 to 25. Since its inception in 2003, APC has demonstrated the crucial importance of the food pharma interface in deepening our understanding of the microbiome. In each of the four strategic areas of the vision, I wish to acknowledge the contribution of my colleagues and also to underline our commitment to the future success of APC. The response to the grand challenge of sustainability requires a commitment to producing the scientific leaders of the future who are also imbued with a solutions focus to their work. A diversity of approaches to undertaking research is needed to provide the necessary solution. In our pursuit of solutions, we are wholly committed to striving after scientific excellence. In our most recent review of peer-reviewed scientific publications, the average number of papers per Chagas PI is 6.3. And in the five year period up to 2020, there has been a 50% increase in scientific publication. And I'm also pleased to state that for several years now, three of our top 10 publishers are also senior researchers within APC, two of whom 
our APC PIs. Through the SFI endorsement of scientists as entrepreneurs, we are also committed to establishing investor-ready spin-out companies to leverage the stock of scientific knowledge. The establishment of the Seek Biome spin-out as a Chagas UCC partnership is one recent example of entrepreneurship. The fourth strategic area of vision, which extols the importance of public engagement, chimes perfectly with our ethos that unless science serves the needs of society, it is not performing. We are pleased to have been part of the success of APC and take considerable satisfaction from knowing that our contributions are valued by our partners in areas such as the hosting of the high throughput DNA sequencing and the provision of culture to product platforms and in our leadership of key industry spokes. But we've also benefited hugely from our involvement in APC Microbiome Ireland over the last 17 years. The drive for scientific excellence as part of a community that values excellence has rubbed off. And we've also shamelessly learned and shamelessly adapted APC's commitment to outreach. I want to conclude by emphasizing that we are in Chagas prepared to do everything that we need to do to realize the vision that has been set out before us. Thank you. Thank you, Jerry, for the continued support and collaboration of Chagask in APC research and helping us to translate this into outputs that will positively improve the planet and society. We will now screen a very short video to give you more sight into APC Microbiome Ireland. Researchers at APC Microbiome Ireland use cutting edge science to reveal the vital role of microbes in almost all aspects of life on our planet. We have built a multidisciplinary team of scientists and clinicians to create practical solutions for human health in areas like inflammatory disease, metabolic syndrome, colorectal cancer, and even healthy aging. We also look to create solutions for critical global issues such as climate change and antimicrobial resistance, helping to build a sustainable future for our planet. Microbiome research is applicable across many different industry sectors, food, pharma, biotechnology, infant nutrition, medical foods, diagnostics, and indeed animal health. Translating our findings for the benefit of society requires the involvement of industry and so we are committed to work with our many partners in order to benefit patients, consumers, the planet and the Irish economy. We are world leaders in microbiome science and this acts as a magnet to attract global talent. People, both researchers and patients are at the heart of our research and we engage with the public and patient groups to ensure that our work improves quality of life and has a sustainable impact on human health. APC Microbiome Ireland is an agent of change, making a positive impact through microbiome science. The APC's Governance Committee was instrumental in helping us to shape this new strategy. Dr Pamela Byrne, Chair of our Governance Committee and the CEO of Food Safety Authority of Ireland, will now say a few words. Good afternoon, and on behalf of the APC Governance Committee, I would like to thank Taoiseach Michal Martin and Minister Simon Harris for their contributions today. I am delighted to speak today to celebrate the launch of the APC's new strategic vision. The APC Governance Committee was involved in helping to shape this new APC strategic vision, and as Chair, I would like to thank the rest of the committee members, as well as the APC team, for their careful deliberations to develop this ambitious future plan. We are living in a very significant time for research and innovation, as the COVID-19 pandemic has revealed to citizens globally how crucial it is to resource scientific research so that we can respond to the changing landscape of global health requirements. On Taoiseach's commendation at the recent Irish Universities Association Future of Ireland webinar, and again this afternoon, 
distinguishes APC Microbiome Ireland as an exemplar of the benefits in investing in research excellence in Ireland. Stakeholder engagement is a key pillar in the APC Microbiome Ireland strategic vision for 2021 to 2026. APC is a national centre with researchers based in UCC, Chagask, MTU, NUIG, UCD, NIBERT, UL and TCD. It also has strategic partnerships with companies from food, pharma and biotech sectors. APC Microbiome Ireland nurtures a strong international network of academics, community and industry relationships and collaborates extensively with these stakeholders to explore how to harness and manipulate microbes for the good of human and planetary health. APC informs policymakers at national and international level on the critical importance of microbiome-based research to address critical global grand challenges, including infection, atopic disease, cancer and climate change. Engagements that matter deeply to the APC are with the people who can benefit and achieve a better quality of life from the research outputs of the APC. Education and public engagement is very much a priority for APC and their researchers strive continuously to maintain accessible communication channels with the public. A commitment in the strategy to promote and elevate engaged research as part of the recently launched public and patient involvement network in Ireland will ensure that the focus of APC research will remain relevant to those who need it most and involve patients in the centre of the conversation. A new communications and marketing strategy is underway to amplify the impact of the APC Microbiome Ireland research, showcasing the cutting edge science and to celebrate the team behind the scientific breakthroughs. It is truly an honour and a privilege for me to chair the Governance Committee of the APC. All members of the committee are dedicated to supporting the APC to achieve their vision and we look forward to hearing about the outputs and outcomes over the course of the next number of years. Thank you. Thank you, Pamela, for the pivotal role you and our Governance Committee plays in helping to shape APC's ambition. We will now hear from the Director General of Science Foundation Ireland, Professor Mark Ferguson. I'm delighted to be here at the launch of APC's strategy. APC are world leaders in microbiome research. They're one of the largest and oldest microbiome research groups in the world. And microbes play a really important, vital role in our life on this planet. They're involved in health, in disease, in agriculture, in veterinary, and increasingly in the sustainability agenda. And APC is conducting groundbreaking research in areas such as inflammatory disease, metabolic syndrome, colorectal cancer, aging, depression, infant nutrition. And this impacts into very, uh, into very diverse group of industries, pharmaceutical industry, biotech industry, the food industry, veterinary industry for animal health, and increasingly the whole raft of industries that are addressing the sustainability agenda. Now the excellence of APC's research can be seen in a number of statistics. 13 of APC's principal investigators are included in the highly cited researchers list of 2020. And APC has produced nearly 4,000 publications in its 15 year history. And they've been cited about 174,000 times. That equates to roughly 46 citations per paper. And 44% of APC's publications are in collaboration with international researchers from over 90 countries, most of those researchers drawn from the UK or the USA. These publications have been cited at over twice the world average, and 25% of APC's publications are amongst the 10% of the most highly cited papers in the world. And that's a testament to the quality of research that's going on in APC and the excellence and impactfulness of the research findings. And that impact is evident in APC's work with industry. In the last five years, 35 collaborative projects with industry, securing over 20 million of financing uh, for APC's research. And furthermore, the APC are very effective in their public outreach, in their engagement with citizens to educate them about the importance and relevance of microbiome research. And in their new strategy, I'm delighted to see ambitious targets, for example, for a new innovation district to foster even more spin-outs from the APC research. 
and to recruit outstanding, excellent individuals from around the world and put them in a supportive research culture where they can do even more excellent research, which will have impacts in Ireland and beyond for society and for the economy. I wish them very well in the execution of this ambitious strategy, and I look forward to seeing the results. Thank you. Thank you, Mark. As you aptly pointed out, collaborative science with industry partners is essential to translate our research to make a positive difference. And this brings us to our next speaker, Liz Dooley, who is the Head of Biologics, Clinical Planning and Operations at Janssen Science in Ireland, and also a member of APC's Governance Committee. SFI research centres like APC Microbiome Ireland are a key cog in the national innovation ecosystem and knowledge economy. The centres collaborate with companies in industry sectors aligned to national research priorities, societal challenges and areas of significant economic output in Ireland. These include pharmaceutical, food, medical device, diagnostics, ICT, renewable energy and climate change, and advanced manufacturing. Janssen has worked with APC Microbiome Ireland for more than five years. As an organization which embraces a culture of research and development, this partnership is one which aligns to our aim to provide innovative therapeutic solutions to key unmet medical needs around the world. APC plays an important role in the life cycle of our products, from development through to commercialization. Our partnership has led to the publication of several research papers, in addition to the filing of a number of patents. Our primary responsibility is to our patients, doctors and nurses, and all who rely on our products. Our commitment to those groups is what motivates us to make the world a better place. And collaborations with organizations like IPC ensure that we can continue to develop solutions, merging breakthroughs in science and technology. The APC Strategic Vision 2021 to 2026 sets out to maximize opportunities for collaboration with industry partners, bringing together talented researchers and industry experts to deliver solutions to tackle societal challenges and support economic growth. At Janssen, we believe in innovation through collaboration. As we set out to change the healthcare landscape of the future, we do so in the knowledge that our success is intrinsically linked to the support of talented researchers. In Ireland, we are fortunate to have some of the very best researchers in the world based in SFI centres like APC. The continued growth and success of Ireland's innovation system and knowledge economy is an absolute prerequisite in ensuring the country remains competitive. The economic impact of SFI centres is in their ability to attract foreign direct investment by developing a talented pool of graduates and research experts who can go on and become industry leaders. It is crucial that Ireland remains at the forefront of research and development, so that the country can continue to support industry partners in producing new technologies, developing innovative pipelines, and adding value to existing products and services. Thank you, Liz. Janssen has collaborated with APC for over five years and we have really enjoyed this strong collaborative working relationship. Our final speaker for this afternoon's launch is Dr. Kirsten Birding Harold, a postdoctoral researcher here at APC and the chair of the APC Postdoctoral Association. Good afternoon. I am very proud to speak here today as a postdoctoral researcher and the chair of the APC Postdoctoral Association. Our mission is to support the professional development of APC postdocs, enhance the scientific interaction among early career researchers, and facilitate communication with APC leadership. APC's strategic vision positions people and culture as its first pillar, recognizing that excellent researchers and collaborative spirit are the bedrock of success in developing and maintaining a reputation as a world-leading microbiome research institute, as APC has done. On the ground, we can see and feel that people and culture are indeed a priority for APC. The sterling reputation and strong track records of the principal investigators, as well as state-of-the-art facilities, attract international talent at every career stage to the APC, such as myself. 
ABC has exposed me to some of the brightest scientific minds, embraced me in its creative environment, encouraged and critically appraised my research in a supportive fashion, and allowed me to expand my research and career opportunities and broaden my horizons. There's ongoing support to provide expert training in specific areas, such as biostatistics and bioinformatics, and to cultivate science communication skills and public engagement, boosting researchers' visibility in the public media, such as TV, the radio, and newspapers. Additionally, the encouragement for professional development, provision of leadership opportunities, such as chairing the APC symposia or serving on the committee of the APC Postdoctoral Association, as well as support to secure grant funding and to present at international conferences and network with scientists from all around the world are cornerstones of the training for young researchers at APC. Last but not least, the ability to engage with and learn from scientists with a large variety of, a large variety of expertise truly makes APC an environment in which one can become the best researcher one aspires to be. Notably, especially important for female scientists like me, gender balance is also high on the APC agenda and is, visible, is a visible consideration on all fronts, from speakers and chairs at APC symposia to career advancement opportunities. It is a very exciting time for research, specifically in the area of microbiome science, where our work has gained international traction and interest from stakeholders. Importantly, the general public also sets to benefit from our research, using information from our discoveries to improve their health and well-being. Being part of the APC allows us early career scientists to be at the forefront of this research and shape us to become future leaders in microbiome science. Thank you, Kirsten, for explaining why the research environment at APC was so important in attracting you to Cork. It is researchers like you who are the future of microbiome science. So now we've come to the end of the launch of this new strategic vision. We would like to thank all of our distinguished speakers for their considered contributions today and to thank you, the virtual audience, for joining us also. We are moving to the STAP Awards part of the event and hope that you can stay with us for a few minutes longer to celebrate the team members of APC and their achievements. I will hand you over to Dr Pamela Byrne, Chair of APC's Governance Committee, who will present this afternoon's awards. Good afternoon and welcome to the virtual awards ceremony for the 2020 APC Microbiome Ireland SFI Research Centre Award Ceremony. It is an honour to announce the winners here today and highlight the achievements of the APC team and acknowledge their great work and dedication during a year made especially difficult because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Our first award today is the APC Excellence Through Collaboration Award 2020. The winners are Mark Lowry, Dr. Sally Cudmore, Professor Paulo Tu, and Professor Fergus Shanahan. Excellence through collaboration was demonstrated in the exemplary transdisciplinary collaboration in realizing a stool transplant service for Ireland, Stool Bank Ireland. Through their collaboration, they brought together expertise from the disciplines of science, medicine, and nursing. Moreover, they collaborated closely with pharmacists, regulatory specialists, gastroenterologists, and patient representatives to address the pressing needs of sick patients that require stool transplants. The next award is APC Future Leaders Award 2020. The winner is Dr. Maria Rodriguez Roberto, Maria has demonstrated scientific excellence and the attributes of a future leader in science since arriving at APC, where she has excelled in all areas. She is a recipient of the prestigious Marie Curie Postdoctoral Fellowship to pursue her own exciting work in Cork. She's taken on a mentorship role by overseeing a postgraduate student, pushed novel high reward projects, contributed her expertise to multiple collaborations and has applied to the prestigious ERC award. Maria has immense knowledge on her subject matter and puts in work to learn and achieve great things. The next award is APC Public Engagement with Research Award 2020, and the winner is Dr. Julie O'Sullivan. Julie has demonstrated an extraordinary commitment to education and public engagement, especially for communicating and engaging with non-scientists about her research in creative and very effective ways. She has honed her ability to explain her research to a wide range of audiences 
and enhanced her understanding of her own research and its importance on a global scale. She has championed the public engagement across APC by sharing her passion for research and bridging the gap between science and the public. The next award is the APC Scientific Excellence Award 2020. And the winner is Dr. Fergal Ryan, Dr. Anna Hearn and Rachel Fitzgerald. Fergal, Anna and Rachel have been awarded the APC Scientific Excellence Award for their major scientific advancement published in Nature Communications in March 2020. The study, which is one of the largest of its kind, is entitled Colonic Microbiota is Associated with Inflammation and Host Epigenomic Alterations in Inflammatory Bowel Disease. The next award is the APC Student Award 2020. The winner is Julie Callanan. Throughout her PhD, Julie has demonstrated excellence in her research while also exhibiting the characteristics of APC citizenship. Julie has participated in numerous public engagement activities and is contributing to the development of a PhD roadmap for postgraduate students in UCC and other Irish universities, highlighting her leadership skills. The next award is the APC Team Member Award 2020. The winner is Saba Loftus. Saba is a powerhouse of activity and has demonstrated an extraordinary commitment and leadership, especially in her role of assisting with the preparation of proposals for NENC. Grants. She brings in all the relevant people and expertise to help with various parts of applications to make them as strong as possible. She has also been instrumental in establishing training programs for our researchers, including an ERC incubator program to facilitate early career researchers. Under SAVA stewardship, APC has more than doubled its applications to EU programs, especially ERC and MSCA programs and has won a number of notable successes. The final award is the APC Industry and Entrepreneurship Award 2020. The winner is Michelle O'Donnell. Michelle oversees the research and development team of the APC spin-out company, Artigen Therapeutics. She has significantly increased the impact of her research through collaborations with industry. Michelle is an inventor on the principal Artigen patent entitled Methods and Compositions for the Treatment of C. difficile. That brings us to the end of the 2020 APC Microbiome Ireland SFI Research Centre Award Ceremony. I would like to congratulate all our winners and acknowledge the very high calibre of nominations we received. Thank you all for joining us virtually this afternoon. I hope you have a good weekend and stay safe, everyone. Thank you very much, Pamela. And on behalf of all of us at APC Microbiome Ireland, I would like to extend a genuine and heartfelt congratulations to all of our team members who have won awards this afternoon. The work we've just celebrated is but a drop in the ocean of the great research that is underway at APC Microbiome Ireland in UCC, in Tiagisk and in collaboration with all our other partner institutes. We are at the end of this afternoon's event and I would like to take the time now to thank you all and to wish you a very happy bank holiday weekend. Mm -hmm.